Hey what's up guys welcome to Fine Gap YouTube channel in this video we are going to learn how we can update data in SQLite database so let's start and before start please i request you to subscribe to our YouTube channel it will motivate us to make such type of amazing programming videos so first of all here you can see that this is our SQLite database and here we have a table contacts and we have inserted two rows with the same name and with the same phone number i will update the phone number of uh, this record so let's see how to do this uh, from here i will minimize this and i am going going to close my this app this is my mydbhelper.java class and in this class we will create a function here public void update contact in this function we will pass our contact model in the body of this function first of all we will open our sqlite database we will create object of this i'm going to name this db and here we have to type this dot get write table database because we have to update data inside our database that's why i will choose get writable database function but if you want to select data from your database you should select get readable database function semicolon next we have to create an object of content values is equal to sorry values is equal to new content values semicolon and by using this object i will call a function values dot put the first parameter i will be our column name which we want to update my column name is stored in a variable and that's variable name is key underscore phone number comma and second we will pass our argument the data which we want to update that data will be stored in our model class so i have to use my this object name contact model dot phone number so suppose you want to update data of two columns then you just have to easily copy this line and paste here and here you will type your second column name and your data of second column which you want to update but in my case i only want to update the phone number that's why i have use key underscore phone number so next by using our database reference i will call a function db dot update and inside this we have to pass four parameters the first parameter will be our table name so our table name is stored in a variable table underscore name and the second parameter will be our content values object so this object name is values so i will pass my values here comma and the third parameter is will be our where class so where class means i will type here key underscore id concatenate this double quotation equal to again concatenate this and here i have to pass the id of my row which i want to update so i can get that id by using my model class contact model dot id and comma and the fourth parameter we will pass null here because at this moment we not need where arguments semicolon that's why our code of mydb helper class is completed now i will open main activity dot java and inside this i will create the object of contact model class contact model model is equal to new contact model and then we have to store our data here so i will type here model dot id is equal to id so at this place you have to enter the id of the row suppose you want to change update the data of first row that's why i have passed one here and next model dot phone number is equal to here i am going to type a random phone number and this phone number will be changed at that row semicolon and at last by using my this database reference db helper dot update contact and inside this i have to pass my model here my code is completed and currently you can see that inside my database okay now let me run the app so i can show you the output so friends here you can see that my data have been up updated uh, inside my table at the starting of this this video the phone number of my contact was uh, this one but now we will enter a phone number here 1234 and you can see that that phone number have been updated inside my table so i hope you must enjoy this video and if you have any question related to this tutorial you can ask us in the comment section we will try to answer your question and please Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and share this video with your those friends who want to learn Android apps development. And finally, thanks for watching.